Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Um, so if you've been following along on this build, it's uh, this is the fourth video in the in the series, and um, it's finally finished. Um, so I started this project a little late last year, and uh, did you know spent some time on just the the front tractor, and then I never really got around to um, working on the trailer up until uh just recently but um anyway i just wanted to put this video together to get to, for you guys to show you um what i had done and um and kind of walk you through um you know the build of the build of this uh build of this creation basically so um i'll do my best to um you know show you guys everything so so as you can see i started off with the um the uh the tractor um, and uh, you know if you looked at some of the previous videos um, how, how I had built the you know the ramp for the front and um, and I created this uh, trailer hitch at, at a later date to accommodate um, using using this trailer but um, anywho I just wanted to show you guys the details and uh, just starting with the bottom uh, basically I've got it all rusted out I used the, the uh, dry pastels on over top of a more of a rusty uh, base uh, coloration that I had used and um, I used a little bit of the makeup as well in one of the other videos that I've been I've been working on lately I've been using um, makeup and the dry pastels as well as this guy originally started this whole um, vehicle in this black primer and then brown and then I've been highlighting it up and you know I kind of created a really interesting effect on the hood I don't know if you can see that I kind of wanted to keep it really me uh, metallic because the whole the whole goal of the uh, the build was to keep it looking like the Mad Max um, uh, war rig but with the exception of you know adding you know some some extra details but I kind of kept it uh, in line in line with the uh, the movie rig as much as I could and uh, you know what I did was I actually painted on rust details like using just brown paint um, there isn't really much wash on this one I decided to not not use the wash but um, you know kind of a layering effect with the uh, the dry brushing and you know going over this actually the hood I actually um, stippled like black paint on on the hood again to kind of give it that um, sort of that beaten up kind of look to it without it being really rusty and then i uh you know i painted a lot of the rust details using the dry pastels but you know it looked you know the front trailer looked, turned out pretty good um using these uh button uh, i forget the name of the button grommets i got from one of the fabric stores uh nearby and um you know they, they do a great job to look like metal um you know, little points on the wheels that destroy the other guy's uh, tires. I'm gonna use these a lot in other builds, you know, especially for uh, for war rig models. And um, yeah, I think the detailing on it turned out really, really well. I didn't want to, you know, put a lot of color into it. I kind of wanted to keep it as sort of a um, like a base tone, like it's just basically the same color coloration throughout. So I did put, you know, some red on the uh, the front uh, the front ran the front uh, uh, you know those are basically but uh, you know as you can see I added some um, you know some scratches and and whatnot here the dirt was all dry brushed as well like it was left black um, when I was painting everything and then I just sort of going over it with just different colors um, even white got in here in the end as well so just really give it that highlighted effect and um, yeah I mean it, you know you could kind of stick with the same you know three or four colors and um, you know kind of gives it a, a uniform look and you know the goal was to keep the whole thing looking together and I was gonna put uh, Furiosa right on the whole side of the the rig but it was really uh, it wasn't a lot of room so I got a toothpick and I don't know if you can see that but I, I wrote the word um, Fury on the side. So now I've nicknamed this uh, project Project Fury. So anyway, so, so we got to the 
to the fun part, which was uh, the latest addition was the trailer um, that I put together. So um, in the other one of the other videos, you see I saw that I actually cut this car in half, and you know the whole goal was to keep it, um, you know, looking really dark, like really black, like the trailer in uh, Mad Max is pretty much black and just covered in dirt. And uh, what I decided to do was just really stick to just some basic, uh, the basic colorations. I added some spikes here in the corners, just like the, the movie. And then I added some, um, uh, some spikes to the back, as you can see here. And uh, just kind of walk you through it. So just, you know, kind of recap, a lot of this is just, you know, some paper details that I glued on, like paper armor. And then I've got some plastic card on here some chain that I bought from actually Walmart and the rest is just like business cards and plastic card that I that I all glued together um, when I started painting it I primered it all black with a touch of the brown um, it's like a textured uh, brown that you can get um, like for painting um, you know outside lights like it's like a like a, a metal paint that you can buy that has a bit of a texture effect to it um, so I painted everything like that to start as a base. When I moved on to more of the rust areas, like this, um, the car itself, I painted actually, actually the first base coat was actually copper. And then I did start painting it brown. So these cars were actually painted brown. This piece and this piece were painted brown first, knowing that I was going to make it completely rusted at the end. So I'm just going to walk you through this. So I rusted it all up with the paint and then um, as I, when I got to the end, I covered it with the dry pastel, so you could see the, the you know the rust effect here. I didn't touch, um, didn't put anything on the machine gun, and the top piece. I just left it sort of a bare metal to kind of give it a little bit of a contrast. And then the and then moving on to the wood. This is the idea behind this was like you know spare uh, supplies, or they could just drop it on some you know a car going by. You know, I was just kind of using my imagination there, but this is actually popsicle sticks that I cut in half and then I just kind of wrapped them with some thread and then I stuck it on here. Um, and then all this piece was made out of plastic card, as I was mentioning before, and business cards. And then these are just paper clips that I, um, that I bent in the shape that look like railing. And then, um, so moving on to the back, um, you know, I just I did more plastic card and cardboard at the at the back here as well um, and then oh well before I forget about it so when I was painting it I realized I had painted over top of the back detail so like there was like these light reflection reflectors and other details of the back of the truck so I started to paint it I actually masked this off to paint the red and the white all the way across and then when I peeled the tape off it took a chunk of the um, the paint with it so I've actually just kind of covered it brown. I may actually go back and do a little detailing here again. I think I actually kind of forgot, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's, this is all metal, so I don't know. I guess when I sprayed it, it didn't quite um, stick to it. But anyway, it came off, and I just touched it up. And uh, just this is a lot. This smudges is all the smudge thing that is here is actually just some makeup that I that I've been using and blending it in and. Uh, from the dollar store, so really cheap stuff. Um, yeah, and then, uh, I don't know, I had this idea of a spool, so I picked up one of these spools here. It's supposed to look like a big electrical, um, like copper wire coil, and uh, you know, what they do is they'll snip the, wire, the rope here and drop it on a car. This is all actually painted, so this is actually some other wire, but I painted it actually in copper, so now it looks like copper wire um, but I actually I actually painted that and uh, yeah and all the you know once I got it all painted brown and got it all rusted up I finally I finalized it with um, just some of the light colored uh, uh, pastel so you get a bit of the dusting on it and then I you know kind of use my fingers just to kind of rub it everywhere and I actually just kind of slid it off like this so you'll see like you know in here there's like dirt the idea is like you know the sand got caught in in like the grooves of some of these pieces so that's why it's like that and then the upper section um you know i've got some rust effects here just sort of 
giving a tarnish like all the weathering that's happening um you know it's out in the desert i guess you might say but um you know it's got all the grime we're getting in here and i've got like a shovel from a military kit same probably the same place where where the machine gun came from and then some of these bits are from flames of war like a like a hub cap here like a like a wheel from a, from a car but it's actually a piece of metal there and uh some kind of ammo box and uh yeah i mean this is how it's turned out um oh and this is a games workshop piece here it's like a standard bearer um might have been from the, the lizardman army or something i don't know i had a lot of bits that you know i, I kind of kept and um I, I use them from time to time to time and yeah i thought oh okay i could put um you know just tie some string here i just glued it crazy glue as i was wrapping it and um you know the idea is just to kind of you know the guy's gonna like slide down or you know they can you know just just a neat extra effect to have on it um to to rig it up um but yeah i mean the hitch works perfectly um oh actually i should point out the the bottom as well so this is all detailed as well just um you know uh pretty you know kind of rusted out and i i wanted to leave like the frame or the bottom of the undercarriage more rusty than the rest and then just leave the rest like like this so just the the only pieces that are on this thing that's really rusting is like the bottom and you know the components on the top and then all the you know the rust stains are just dripping down and what i did with that is i just actually painted it and then later i used the uh, dry pastels to uh, just kind of add a little, some additional dusting in there and uh yeah this is kind of like how it looks um from this side all assembled and and then um i'll just turn it around this way just a little easier to show you guys and then uh yeah and this is how it looks all assembled and um ready for action basically so i hope you guys uh, like this build um just kind of a neat idea i mean you can go so anyway um yeah hopefully you guys like this uh build uh you know stay close to stay you know stay tuned to the channel um make sure you subscribe if you haven't already it'll help you out a great deal and um you know if you know anybody that's into the hobby and hasn't seen my channel if you could send it to them that would be fantastic and then Hopefully they can become um, a subscriber and a follower as well. So anyway, thank you for uh, stopping by. I've got uh, some other great projects on the horizon, and, and hopefully you're going to want to follow along. Thanks. Bye.